Hello, my name is Amy Titherley. I'm Head of Science, Head of Biology and Head of Applied Science here at Ralph Allen School. Hopefully I will answer lots of your questions about applied science. It's a great choice. Uh, please feel free to contact me on my email address, which I will show on the first slide uh, at the beginning of the presentation. So here we go. OK, so CTEC Applied Science. So first of all, that stands for a Cambridge Technical, which is a little bit different to an A-level. And hopefully during this presentation, I will make it clear what the differences are um, so you can make an informed choice about whether CTEC Applied Science is the right thing for you. Um, just to highlight my email address there, a.tithily at ralphallenschool.com if you would like to email me with any further questions. OK, so to start with, where can applied science lead you? Now, applied science is a varied qualification, really, really varied, and it can lead you in lots of different directions. So ranging from a career in biomedical sciences, sports science, food scientists to nursing, forensic science and hospital research. So a really varied range of options that applied science potentially might help you with. However, even if you're not thinking about a career in science at the moment, but you think this is something that really might interest me and I'd like to, and I would like to explore science a little bit further, then please keep on listening. So the aims of the qualification. This qualification aims at developing scientific skills and knowledge, particularly in a vocational context. So it is learning lots more about biology, chemistry and physics but putting them into a context of applying those skills, presenting information, independent learning um, with quite a lot of project based research. So the course content, there is a big jump from GCSE to A level as there are in any A levels or Cambridge technicals. So you can see here uh, we have some of the GCSE content. So a nice simple animal cell with some of the labels highlighted a simple chromatography in the center and on the right hand side the equation for respiration and if we look at where we're going in the applied science we can see at the bottom what a jumper is look at all those structures inside the cell that we will learn about in applied science absolutely amazing i could talk about it all day um, it is hard it's a challenge but then we want to accept these challenges and really interesting as we go through them the one in the middle, so going from simple paper chromatography to the bottom, which is gel electrophoresis. And on the right hand side, the simple respiration equation, moving to the biochemistry of respiration and what's actually happening inside the cell and inside that mitochondria. So the core structure, this is the main difference between the CTEC and applied science and a traditional A level is you can see that 50% of the course is exam based. So unit one and unit two are exams and those exams are taken both in the first year of the course and in the second year of the course. And the other units, so the unit six, 18 and 21, which are the units that we study at Ralph Allen, are all coursework based. So what we're really looking for is a student who has a real interest in science. Um, we have a slight skew towards the biology elements, but we do cover some physics and chemistry as well. Um, and somebody who is really organised and looking forward to complete coursework. So somebody who might suit a coursework course rather than just a traditional course that is based on exam assessment. So the entry requirements, this is still a demanding and challenging course. So we do require a grade five in two sciences. So if somebody is already studying at GCSE, the separate sciences. So that would be a grade five in either biology and physics or biology and chemistry, for example. We also, well, sorry, in addition or instead of if somebody is not studying separate science, but studying combined science, we would expect students to have two grade fives. So a five five coming from the GCSE combined science, which is a little bit of biology, a little bit of chemistry and a little bit of physics. 
We also require a grade in maths, so a grade five in maths and a grade five in English. And that's because of the element of coursework. So lots of written work, which the English will help a lot with and lots of mathematical skills in terms of calculations, interpreting graph and graphs and that type of thing, which is where the maths comes into things. OK, so who supports CTEC Applied Science? It's obviously a little bit different to the full A level or the way the A-level course is structured, but it's still a fantastic course. And I've just popped onto the slide a list of employers, higher education institutes and other institutes which support and back the CTEC Applied Science, which is the course that we are running here. So you can see lots of different uh, companies ranging from the NHS to BAE systems to Kellogg's, lots of universities, ranging from Keele to Brighton to UE down in Bristol and lots of scientific institutes as well. So it's well backed by lots of different institutions. So the last thing for me is what about UCAS points? If the grading is slightly different and the assessment is slightly different to A levels, how does that work in terms of getting into university? So I've just popped onto the slide here the grades that you'll get at the end of studying a CTEC in Applied Science. So instead of the A, B, C, D and E grades, the grades that a student will come out with are a distinction, a merit and a pass or a pass. So students who are awarded a distinction, that is in a, the equivalent to an A grade if somebody was studying a traditional A level course. So that is the same as 48 UCAS points. If somebody achieved a merit, that is 38 UCAS points, which is the equivalent to a C grade, uh, or a pass, that's 16 UCAS points, which is the equivalent to an E grade. So as you can see in terms of the grade opportunities, they are really similar in terms of uh, UCAS to a traditional style A level. So why would you want to study applied science? So we know it can help get into universities. We know it's a course that is backed by lots of different employers, etc. as on the previous slide. But we want you to have an interest in science, uh, particularly biology, but also there is that physics and that chemistry element in the course. We look forward to welcoming you. Please do contact me if you have any questions at all, and I will help as much as I possibly can. Thank you very much for listening.